What if I told you that you could start a publicly traded company with no tangible products, nothing to sell, and no operational model whatsoever? You'd probably say, Levi, that sounds crazy. What are you talking about? I know it sounds crazy, but it's happening all the time. In fact, it's happening more than it ever has in history. These companies are real and they're called SPACs, Special Purpose Acquisition Companies. And these SPACs are all over the internet, especially on Reddit and TikTok, which is where our story today starts. A couple weeks ago, I was scrolling through my phone trying to figure out what the next big internet stock move was gonna be. And a lot of the companies that I came across looked a little fishy. I would be foraging through Reddit or TikTok and come across a ticker symbol. I'd scroll down all the way to the bottom and every time I was reading that these companies were blank check companies and I had never heard that before. It turns out all of these ticker symbols that I was seeing on Reddit and TikTok and exploring further on Robinhood were special purpose acquisition companies or SPACs. First of all, what is a SPAC? Special purpose acquisition companies are companies that go public for the sole purpose of acquiring another company. It's kind of like stock market inception where it's a company that ends up being with inside another company, but the first company was never really a company at all. Okay, that didn't help explain anything, but bear with me. Essentially, these SPACs are shell companies and they have nothing going on except for the money that they raise to buy another company. And several household names like Virgin Galactica, Open Door, DraftKings, and Nikola Motor were all taken public through SPACs in 2020. Now, when most of us think of going public, we think of IPOs. But last year, 200 companies went public through SPACs, like I said, $64 billion raised, and that's nearly as much as all of 2020's IPOs combined. But why should you care about SPACs, and why are companies choosing now more than ever to go public through a special purpose acquisition company rather than doing a traditional IPO? Well, we'll answer the second question first. IPOs involve a ridiculously lengthy process for the company that wants to go public, often taking multiple years, tons of paperwork, and expensive underwriting fees. With a SPAC, another company basically does this for you, all the legwork plus they raise money for you. So for some companies, it's quite a deal. But how about for investors? For investors, SPACs are something to be extremely cautious of because they go public without selling anything, having any products, and without any assets except for the money that they've raised. SPACs can go public and there are no rules saying that they have to disclose which companies they're planning on acquiring at any time. The only limitation is that they have two years to buy any company that they want. So be careful when you're scrolling through the internet and you come across a stock recommendation because there's a decent chance that if you're in any of the same internet corners that I am, that you're being fed SPACs that likely haven't even acquired a company yet and haven't disclosed to anyone who they plan on acquiring. If you've been on Reddit, you probably know what CCIV is, and it's one of the most popular stocks all over the internet right now. It's up over 400% since January 8th, and it hasn't even confirmed which company it's going to buy yet. There are a lot of rumors that CCIV is going to acquire Lucid Motors, but there's no confirmation of that, and yet the stock has soared 400% in the past month. With the age of internet investing, there's all kinds of crazy things going on, and it's pretty much the Wild West all over again in the finance field. As smart investors, of course, we always want to be doing our own research, so be really careful when you're scrolling through the internet looking for stock advice, because other than coming across terrible recommendations from people who have no idea what they're doing, you might even be coming across a company that stock price is solely based on rumors about which company it's thinking of buying. Now, of course, SPACs are not all bad and they can actually help companies go public a lot easier in some cases. But for investors, it's really important to know what you're getting into and to make sure that if you're investing in a SPAC, you're either totally fine speculating and losing all your money or you've made sure that they've confirmed who they're going to acquire. As always, be a smart investor, do your own research, don't let the fear of missing out motivate you to buy stocks, and before you shoot a stock to the moon, 
make sure you know what it actually does. Thanks so much survivors for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the Wall Street Survivor channel. I'm out. See you guys next time.